So this shit was a little bit brighter than, than they showed on the description, okay? So I really enjoy the uh, open, vibrant, expressive clothing style. And sometimes I feel like men's clothing is just like too constricted, restrictive. Like, look at this. I like V-necks, like, whoosh, 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 we could show just a little bit of chest, you know, maybe just a little titty. You know, just flaccid just a little bit. You know, no big deal. So I ordered my first set of women's clothes off of Amazon. I like bohemian style clothing. A lot of the men's bohemian style clothing that was being offered, especially like, you know, sort of people people deem it like hippie style clothing and v-neck clothing. A lot of the men's style was still just a little too restrictive, a little bit too closed in the chest area and in the inviting area. Like this is where my heart is. I always feel like it's open. Now the heart is a sociological construct also, by the way, it's all in your mind. But anyway, so I ordered my first little set of women's clothes off of Amazon and I'm just gonna go through them. See if there's a way I can finesse this and make it into my own gender non-binary little thing or whatever. So this shit was a little bit brighter than, than they showed on the description, okay? So this is the first one. I think it's really nice. And this is the second one. So these were deemed as women's clothes. I'm gonna take them out and I'm gonna show you a little bit about what they look like. Ooh, I like this one. This one came with a zip, so it's like, just in case I don't like it, I can zip that shit right back up. Ooh, tell me this shit isn't awesome. Look at this. Uh, I look so badass. I feel incredible. I look fucking incredible. I finally have that openness, but still that level of social presentation that I was looking for. And I only had to compromise my masculinity to do it. Ooh, now this is the second one. This shit looks like it's gonna be a little bit harder to finesse. Ooh, this shit looks good actually. Ooh. Never mind, I have been surprised. This shit looks incredible on me. I'm able to keep that mixture of my masculine and feminine energy that I bring out in terms of that openness. So the sociological constructs of masculinity and femininity are energies that you bring into yourself. They are largely sociological constructs and expectations of each of those energies. So with masculinity, for example, it's largely associated with men, though it is not exclusive to men. There's a difference between sociological constructs and existential, biological, and anatomical uh, constructs. So with masculinity, there are often energies that have expectations of domination, of protection, sometimes an element of roughness. Um, with femininity, there is an uh, energy and expectation of openness, receptiveness, pretty much all aspects of opening your heart and creating a space for others. Now, the only reason why some people may not want to associate with energies that may directly coincide or be sociologically presented and expressed to them of their biological sex are because perhaps in some cases there may be existential sociological harm that may be done to them by expressing those. For example, me as a black man, in my blackness, in my black body, often elements of domination of these other masculine expressed interests may or may not impact the way in which I am allowed in certain social spaces, social circles, and elements with law enforcement and other systemic issues. I may be viewed as a quote threat as well as partnership. Um, partnership definitely has a huge part to play in how people are receptive to you. And if people associate elements of you on top of your compounding identities, then it can be really difficult to juggle all those in terms of being allowed the open space to be anything and everything that we have the capacity to be. There are some biological forces that play into masculinity and femininity, elements and social expectations and vocabulary terms and vernacular that's often associated with masculinity may or may not have impact based on the testosterone that you have, whereas with femininity, expect the same with uh, estrogen. So keeping all that in mind, growing up in terms of my perspective and expectation, I grew up as a black man in predominantly white spaces from kindergarten to eighth grade. Keeping that in context, I had to be cognizant of how other people received me. My parents, especially my father, were hypercritical about how I expressed and presented in situations and make sh making sure that I always uh, had a level of calmness with me so that people didn't interpret me as angry or all these other stereotypes that are often associated with blackness. So there is a social expectation, as you can see, that's compounded on blackness. Most people, because of my presentation, my largely in a cisgender fashion. So cisgender means that uh, often your presentation uh, and your gender identity 
often correlate with the sex that you were assigned with. So most people give and expect from me some sort of masculine energy. At some points, I do not agree with that or I would prefer a different level of openness with me. So I will present and express aspects of openness, kindness, for space for everybody, elements that are often associated with femininity to create and have that open space for myself.